Well, how about that old Leonardo da Vinci turned out to be Lillian da Vinci? <laughs> you know something? It might, be, it might be worth something. We better check an art collector. A collector? Oh, you think it might be? Yeah, let's go. We've got something valuable in here. Here, we better... Yeah. What are you doing? Have you no sense of responsibility at all? <laughs> if we have a masterpiece, why don't we do something to protect it? <laughs> How are we going to get out of here? You follow me. Mm. <laughs> yeah, still no letter from Mama. <laughs> Sorry, madam, our paintings start at $10,000. Yes, Gilbert Galleries represents only the finest artists. <laughs> I'm sorry, goodbye. <laughs> They're burying them, setting up now. <laughs> There's no chance of him breaking up. Look at him. Oh, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, sir. Oh, good afternoon. I'll be with you in a minute. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, yes, 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 you must be a couple of models for a painting of Skid Row. I beg your pardon, sir. My colleague and myself, we have an art treasure. Now, you don't mean to tell me that you're a collector. You might say that. <laughs> you two hobos get out of here. I'm a very busy man. Oh, but wait a minute. We, we found a painting by Leonardo da Vinci. I don't care who it's by. It's oh, it's a da Vinci. You don't... His mother was right my mouth. <laughs> Walk this way, but be careful. You can never tell what's under the snow. You know? On one occasion, I, I passed up a Rembrandt, and on another, I, I let a Gainsborough slip through my fingers. But I couldn't live with myself if I, if I passed up a, a Da Vinci. My, what a revolting atmosphere! <laughs> oh, I've never seen such a miserable slum. Yeah. If you think this is bad. Wait till you get inside. <laughs> oh, just a minute. This happens to be a G.I. home. A G.I. home? Yeah, gee, I wish I was in Beverly Hills. <laughs> Come, gentlemen, follow me. <laughs> here we are. Oh, here we are. <laughs> Don't do that! Why don't you look in the mailbox? There may be a letter for Mama. <laughs> Good grief, the missing Da Vinci. Well, what do you think, Mr. Gilbert? What do you think? What do I think? Well, I think, I think, I think, I think it's absolutely worthless. It's just a, a cheap copy of the original. Oh, you sure? You sure? Yes, of course. Any idiot can see that. Well, you don't have to call yourself names, you know. <laughs> I can always use this canvas to clean brushes. And I tell you what, I, I'll give you uh, $10. $10? Well, now, that's mighty generous of you. But on second thought, I think it's worth more than that to keep the snow out. Snow? What snow? <laughs> Come here, look. Just a moment. Here, let me help you out here. Just a moment there. <laughs> Good heavens! If you call me to fly, I'll belt you right over the head. <laughs> anyway, Freddy, look. You 
you give me this painting. I'll give you the painting. And I'll have this old wall plastered. Yeah, I'll plaster you too, boy. <laughs> you know, for a worthless. Oh! <laughs> friend of yours. Sure. I walk on them. You walk on them, so can I. Yeah. Yeah. See, uh, <laughs> see, I know something you don't know now. Why? You're on my foot. <laughs> you know, he's awful anxious to get that worthless painting. Yeah, I think there's something rotten in Denmark. I think it's closer than that. <laughs> Look, why don't I just buy this whole shack? Now you're talking. Now you're talking. I'll give you five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars? There you are. Oh, One, two, three, oh, four, four, five. This deductible, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> See, it's, you know, <laughs> now that you bought that shack, how about buying that canvas to keep the snow out? What? What? <laughs> that canvas goes with the shack. No, it don't. You didn't buy the place furnished. <laughs> Nonsense. I'll give you $10,000 for that worthless painting. I'm sorry, but this worthless painting is not for sale. All right, I'm leaving, but I'm warning you, you'll be sorry that you didn't sell me that worthless painting. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Come here. Close the door. There's a draft in here. <laughs> Want to know something? What? They didn't build that door very good, you know. <laughs> you know, he may be after that painting, but I think it's us he's trying to frame. there is absolutely no doubt about the authenticity of this painting that those hobos have. The brush strokes of Da Vinci, the color tones of Da Vinci, I tell you that this painting is priceless. Ah, and you want to buy it, eh? Yes. Well, Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for a Da Vinci? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, look, uh, Gino, as of this minute, you are the greatest art critic in the whole world, aren't you, Gino? Huh? <laughs> if you say so. Yes. Well, now, look, it'll be easy. Those old bows have no idea of what this painting is worth. They have absolutely no notion of its true value. Uh. Say, Muggsy, what are you going to do with your million dollars? <laughs> I think I'll buy me a railroad. A railroad? Yeah, I always wanted a feather bed. Yeah. <laughs> it's a door. Oh, I thought it was the termites taking up tap dancing. <laughs> yeah? And ciao, senor. Ciao. Oh, you've got the wrong place, my dear man. The mission is up at the top of the hill. <laughs> No, 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 senor. You do not understand. Yeah. Ciao is Italian for hello. Oh? Ciao, 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 ciao. Oh, good. Good night. Good Permit me to introduce myself. Oh. I am Gino Antonio Vittorio Mario Ravaghetti. No kidding. I ordered you once an Italian recipe. <laughs> I am the foremost art painter from Rome. Oh. Uh, you have a famous painting here, no? Uh, no, we have a famous painting here yet. Uh, see, I like that accent of yours. It's kind of catchy. What part of Chicago are you from? <laughs> <laughs> I've never met so many hokey legitimate actors. <laughs> Boy, please, a good straight man to run away with this show. <laughs> please, senor, I am from Florence. Yeah, I didn't ask you where you were from. I, I asked you where you were from, not who you were from. <laughs> Mamma mia! That is the picture of his mommy. Oh. <laughs> Mamma mia! What a disappointment. Yeah. What? I am wasting my time coming here to see that painting. Oh, it might be worth a lot of money. Ah, it is worth nothing. I have seen better artwork on top of a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> 
that you should show up at this time. Well, I was just taking my morning's constitutional in the city dump. <laughs> and I thought I'd drop by. Well, I thought I'd just drop by and see how you boys were doing with your worthless painting. Yes. Mm. I'm going to look that all up after the show. <laughs> Remember what happened to old W.C.? <laughs> hey. Yeah, something I think you should know, Mr. Gilbert. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Take a look at that, would you? Jack Parr walks off of... No, no, no. <laughs> the headline. Read the head. Hobo's painting worth fortune. <laughs> Get along with this. Priceless Da Vinci found in Hobo's shack. Leading critics agree on onsen tickety of rare painting. Onsen tickety? Yeah, it rhymes with Da Vinci. <laughs> It might do you good to know that there were a few art critics here earlier today. Daddy, look, I, I must have that painting. It's a, it's an obsession. No, it's not. It's a Da Vinci. <laughs> All right, I, I'll give you a million dollars. I'll give you a million dollars for that worthless painting. No, I'm sorry. I would have given it to you for the first ten that you offered me. But you tried to cheat us, and that's what we won't stand for. We won't work with crooks. That's why we live here. We're living a clean life. Oh, but I must... <laughs> I must have that painting, Freddie. Once I had an, a, an original Utrillo, and once I had an original Gauguin, but I, I, I have never had an original Da Vinci, and I must have that painting. I must, I must, I must. <laughs> Once had an original skeleton show. <laughs> you know what's wrong with him? What? He's been watching too much of Loretta Young. <laughs> <laughs> Six million dollars. Yipe! Freddy! 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 got his way here and he's gonna steal a painting! No, no, go... Over my dead body! That's the way it's gonna be, because he's got a crazy look in his eye and I think he's carrying a gun! Well, who's afraid of a gun? You are! Oh, thanks for telling me! Freddy! Freddy! Here, here! Put it out here! Put it in the closet! Put it in the closet! Like, put it under the rug and close the door. Rod! Mm -hmm. What rod? Oh, that's right. They've got that too, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> please, please close the door. There. Here, here. I I'll take care of it. You go stall him off. I I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. All right. Well, Zabinki, either you get cut up or I do. It looks like it's going to be you, Zabinki. <laughs> Oh, hello, Mr. Gilbert. Are you looking for Freddy? Yes, I want to talk to him about that painting. Oh, the painting? Well, I'm, I'm sorry. He, he took the painting and he went over to your place. Oh, he did, did he? Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't see him. You didn't, huh? No. Well, did you come over the park and the, through the, the tunnel and then over the bridge and down seven? Yes, yes. No wonder you didn't see him. He never goes that way. <laughs> Gilbert, it's all right. All right, Freddy. 
Where is that painting? What painting? That painting! There's no painting there! Look, Freddy, I'm gonna get my hands on that painting if it's the last thing I do. You're mighty warm. <laughs> Never mind the wisecracks. Where is that painting? Please, you're wrinkling my heart, Schaffner, and Davinci. <laughs> I mean my overcoat. Where is that painting? I cut it up. You cut it up? Yeah, I cut it up. You cut up a Davinci. <laughs> Davinci. <laughs> you said it was worthless, remember? Oh, no, no. Oh, you give yourself a headache doing that. What's <laughs> my furniture, too? <laughs> now, I didn't hurt the painting. See, I cut around that. It's still good. Now he tells. <laughs> And that explains why the painting is in the shape of an overcoat. Exactly. When Freddy donated this painting to the museum, he insisted that we keep it in this form. Pardon me, please. Uh, excuse me. When I gave the painting, I forgot something I left in the pocket up here. Just this. My cigars. I haven't had a fresh one for a month. <laughs> A letter from Mom. Don't go away. Red will be back in a minute. Next week, Red's guests will be Keith Brussell, George O'Hanlon, and Clem Cadiddlehopper. On behalf of the makers of Pet Milk, may we thank you for making our visit possible and remind you that next week, Pet Milk brings you the Red Skelton Show. <laughs> next week, Johnson's Wax, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Good night now. Tonight, the Red Skelton Show was brought to you by Pet Milk Company's family of fine food. Hello, friends. This is Gary Moore speaking for the gang, and tonight's guest stars Gertrude Berg and Gene Nelson. Our show starts in just a moment on most of these stations, so be sure to stay tuned. <laughs>